Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laura Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We are still on the Android UI. We're about to be talking about the side menu. Uh, well, we'll be creating some categories that will actually be used uh, in the uh, side menu uh, navigation. Uh, we'll be using some libraries, uh, most importantly from the Yalintis uh, side menu library and the circular review uh, uh, library. Uh, this project is actually uh, the credit is given to the Yalintis uh, side menu uh, for actually giving us uh, an access to use the library and some other uh, methods right in needs. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio. I'll be uh, having the source file and I'll be explaining in details how to uh, integrate uh, the side menu dependency and the circular review and how to call on the uh, methods involved in uh, actually making a display of a side menu and use the vectors uh, animation. Right there in my Android Studio, I have the build gradle, the module and the project session. In the module app session, I'll be talking about the dependency side menu uh yalintis uh is from yalintis.com uh side menu 1.0 no uh you need to include this compile and you have to include the github uh from the circular review from uh o-z-o-d-r-u-k-h i can't pronounce it as one but uh this is the link that you need to actually include in your dependency after doing that you need to compile uh build uh synchronized gradle and as well, you need to include the Marvin uh, URL, the HTTPs jitspark.io. This particular repository is very, very important uh, in uh, creating a side menu. After you might have done that, uh, you have, we'll have to look at the layout files and uh, Java classes. The layout file, we have the activity main and the fragment main XML. The fragment main XML is actually going to be handling the side menu where the activity main will be handling uh, the uh, the UI which is the launcher activity of this particular application. Let's get to look at the activity main. Uh, we have the draw layout right uh, set up as the parent tag. While well, we have the ID draw layout, the layout with an ID match parent. Uh, we have the review frame layout follows as a child tag. Uh, Whereby it's uh, we are sending an ID to it called container frame. Uh, we have Two linear layouts right inside it, uh, where well, well, the orientation is vertical. Uh, the first uh, linear layout ID is content overlay, while the second linear layout ID is uh, content frame for the frame itself. Uh, the orientation is vertical. And uh, we have the toolbar, which is the support version cell with the toolbar, uh, and lay the top bar of the uh, UI. Uh, the ID is toolbar, whereby the height is wrap content, and the width is uh, match parent. Uh, we assign the background to it appropriately. We close up the review frame layout uh, from the code pay widget review frame layout. Uh, this review frame layout will actually be used uh, if you have a build gradle of 2.1.0 upwards. You need to upgrade your gradle from 1.5 to 2 points upwards. Uh, once you do that, you have you can uh, utilize uh, the frame layout uh, library. Uh, we have the scroll view right there. Uh, whereby we have the scope view term vertical, uh, the layout width, uh, HTTP, the layout height, the match parent. And we have another linear layout whereby we have a left, a left drawer, you no know, ID, whereby the orientation is vertical. Uh, we close up the linear layout, close up the scroll view, and close up the support widget drawer layout, which is the parent uh, tag for this activity main xml now let's look at the fragment main xml uh we also call on the io code tail widget the review frame layout whereby we have the frame layout as a child tag with an id called container and the image view follows uh we assign an id to it called image content calling from the drawable content themes uh with an id match parent and uh Appropriately, we, we close up the frame layout and close up the review frame layout. You need to uh, get that right. Uh, any other XML? Let's look at the menu XML. Okay, this is just uh, the default created menu XML. And um, I'll be moving straight to uh, my Java classes where we'll be talking about the fragments, you know, and we'll be talking about the main activity. 
Let's get to see the main activity of this particular application. Let me collapse this. Uh, let me expand it rather. Uh, we imported the support animator from the code tail, the view animation utilities, and from the jalentis that are the side menu, uh, the resourceable, uh, the screen shootable, the slide menu item from the side menu library, and we call on the content fragment, which is from the fragment uh, directory or the fragment uh, folder that we'll be talking afterwards. Now our main activity extends action back activity. This has been deprecated anyways. You can use the app compact activity, but I actually use the action back activity. It's all fine. And it implements the view animator and the view animator listener. Uh, we created quite uh, a number of fields here, the draw layout, uh, the draw toggle, uh, the slide menu item generic, which is a list, whereby we instantiate it with the array list, uh, the content frame fragment, the view animator, and uh, we instantiated the rest based on the drawable content music, uh, the linear layout also, uh, the field being created here. Our onCreate method call on the super create and we set the content view to the layout activity main. Just we explain. Uh, we need to instantiate all these. The content frame are uh, calling the drawable content music. Uh, we get the support fragment manager by beginning the transaction and we replace it with the content frame content uh, based on the content fragment, right? And we have to commit these uh, to actually make it uh, stay. Uh, now we have the draw layout. We call on it ID draw layout. Uh, we set the screen color, which is transparent. The linear layout we need to call the left draw, and we set an on click listener to this uh, linear layout, uh, just to you know close the draw and open up the draw. Let's get to look at the create menu list. You know where well, the, these are the menu lists right in the fragment, the content fragment. Now we have the slide menu item. Uh, item zero you know this a uh, sort of array array starts from zero down to one to three uh now we have the content fragment close what drawable is going to have you know which is the picture or let's say the icon that is going to carry is a close icon which is like a times uh sign uh that goes for the second uh whereby we assign the drawable which is building uh now the fragment for book you know we call this drawable for the third one, we call this driver paint. So these are actually going to be used. Uh, we're going to set an on click listener to all these uh, menus. You know, this is for the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh set appropriately. Now we set the action bar based on the toolbar, which is at the topmost uh, of the application. You get the support action bar. You pass the toolbar as a parameter. You set the home button enabled. That, uh, and you set the display home as up enabled. You know, just this is just like a back. You know, take you back to uh, the calling or the uh, the activity before this. Now we're going to call when the drawer are settled in a completely closed state. On drawer closed, the super on drawer closed is being called the view with the passed in. Now the linear layout. Uh, you're going to remove all views. And you're still going to invalidate. Uh, you're going to call the invalidate method on this. On draw slide, when you slide up the draw, uh, there's an if statement to check the slide offset if it's greater than 0.6, and the linear layout to get the child count if they're equals to zero. The view animator is going to show the menu content. Now this is called when the draw are settled in a completely open state. That was for the closed state. This is for the open state. What you call on the super on draw opened, and uh, there is going to be a draw layout whereby the draw toggle is going to be a uh, called. We have the on post create, on configuration change method. We have the on create options menu, uh, on options item selected method. We also have uh, the screen shootable to replace fragment yeah because when you're going to click uh, a particular menu it's actually going to replace a fragment it's not starting a new activity anyways no the activity are still the same but a fragment will change this is what this is doing there where you have the this rest uh calling the draw 
content music we have for music we only we only did for two we can extend these to actually hold on to all menus create different fragments to call the call them uh, we have for the content films which is we actually did for music and films uh, you call on the drawable and you get its id now you're going to find this uh the final radius there's going to be a math uh, method here whereby you're going to check the for the maximum uh you get the weight and height uh now you have the support animator called or we create that we create an object from it called animator the view animation utilities now you're going to create a circular review on change of uh, a particular fragment. Uh, get the view, the top position, the final radius. Now the animator object creator, you're going to set an set interpolator. Uh, whereby you're going to instantiate the accelerate interpolator, and you set the duration uh, based on the circle review animation duration. You know, this is just what that's doing. We have for the screen shootable on switch whereby you have the resourceable the sliding menu item uh you, the screen shootable itself and the position whereby this is going to you know, have a switch method or a switch uh, statement where the slide menu item gets its name uh there's a case if it's closed it's going to return a screen shootable else it's going to replace the fragments and uh get the position of the screen itself we have the dis disable home button and we have the enable home button method you know you can still play around with all these uh, this is a quite uh, robust framework for a side menu you get to see it uh, shortly let's look at the fragments quickly we have the content fragment uh, let's get to see the imports and expand these uh, you imported the interface screen shootable from the yellowntees.com uh, now you have the content fragment that extends the fragment cl uh, super class and implements uh, the screen shootable. Uh, it, impl it implements the screen shootable uh, inter uh, interface. Now you have the public different uh, fields created like clothes, the building, the book, the paint, the gates, shop, party, and movie. We all we all actually use this in the main activity. You also have the content view, the image view, uh, the rest, and the bitmap. Now, the content fragment, you get this new instance, pass the rest ID. You call on the content fragment, you instantiate it. There's a bundle whereby you put in, uh, the, the, you get the name of the class, the rest ID. You set the argument based on the bundle and return the content fragment. This is if you're familiar with the use of fragments. This shouldn't be uh, uh, strange to you. You should actually know how to populate fragments. Where you have the on create view, just, uh, the layout inflator, uh, the safe border instance, state, and its container. Uh, this actually have the image view here, where you get the root view, find the view by ID, the image content, the set clickable, the set focusable, and the set image resources, passing the rest, which is getting from the drawer, drawable, and, not, and you return the root view. If you're going to take a screenshot, uh, this is a thread actually run at the background. About the where they create the bitmap and uh, the canvas, and the thread starts up. All right, uh, this actually uh, for the content fragment. Uh, you can actually have other fragments to hold on to different uh, clicks or different menu items. I'll be going straight to the manifest. Uh, the manifest is just uh, the default manifest. Which actually, they include any activity because fragments are quite different from an activity as a whole. Now we have the launch activity and we have the theme, uh, which is the style app theme set appropriately. I'll be uploading the source file to my GitHub account and I'll be showing this in an Android emulator. So stay tuned. Here we go with the application, the side menu. Uh, if you notice, this is the drawer icon and this is for the menu and settings. Well, let's click on the drawer icon. Uh, this is a uh, em an emulator it may not actually look so smooth but it's working perfectly actually there should be a review uh a circular review showed you know when this is trying to draw out so instead of you using a draw which actually have the menu or uh, the icon and blah 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 this is just like a side menu which is actually going to make your ui look so great and short where you have the menu to click on this is a, the cancel button to actually take take off the side menu and you have the frame menu to actually change the fragments of the 
of the main activity. Now I click on this. Now you have the review, which actually swipes up, you know, down to to like change up the uh, the UI, you know, to something different. Now let's get to look at another menu. You know, we actually implemented two menus. All right, uh, the swipe, uh, the review actually didn't show too too well here, but it's just just that there's an emulator. You know, on every device, you, know, you actually get to see uh, the the effects, you know, uh, the the circular review showing perfectly, and the swipe or uh, animation of the uh, side menu, you know, coming out uh, very very beautiful. Uh, let's get to look at the first menu again. No, oh, wow. That's fine, you know. Can you see it changing up the UI to something different? So you can actually incorporate uh, the slide menu, uh, the side menu now, not the slide, the side menu into your application, to your Android application. Jazz up your UI, uh, make it uh, look quite different, and let it stand out from the crowd. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this session, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.